Hi, I would like to share a bit of scripture from the book of Micah. Um, since I don't have really much to talk about, I just want I just wanted to um, share this a bit of scripture. Um, anyway, here, here it is, starting from chapter chapter of six, um, verse six, going to verse eight. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before the high God? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings with calves a year old? Would the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, ten thousand rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has shown you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Now, um, now this bit of scripture, um, it, po it, it points, it points back to, um, to, um, to for, first, first Samuel, um, story of, um, King Saul when, um, King Saul was, um, told to wipe out the Amalekites and, um, all the Amalekites and everything that they have, but he failed to do so. I mean, he he um, kept their king um, alive and um, spared all all the good um, livestock. I mean, and and Samuel told told Saul, "Is the Lord pleased with burnt offerings and sacrifices, or is He pleased with um, obedience? Because to be to obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better, better than fat of rams. And um, and and verse six. Um, I mean, shall I come to him with burnt offerings, the calves a year old? Will the, and verse seven. The Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, ten thousand rivers of oil. I mean. Would, would all the sacrifices in the world pl please God? I mean, if we if we could give if we could give up er everything in the world f for Him, would would be enough? I mean, I mean, I mean, sh shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? I mean, would it be willing to give up? Um, our children, just to um, just to satisfy the Lord's demands. That's that. Even that wouldn't be enough. I mean, and um, in ver verse eight basically point points out what what the Lord requires of us. Basically, to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. And um, to do justly is to do what the Lord commands, um, do His commandments, um, to love mercy, to um, show mercy on on people, um, even if they don't deserve it, and and basically to walk humbly with with God, um, basically to um, to f to fear Him, respect Him, and um, be reverent towards him. I mean, I mean, we're living in a generation that does not fear a God in any sense. I mean, they have basically written him off as a fantasy, and um, one of the, one of these guy, days, God is going to show up and. Um, He's going to reveal himself to all mankind, and he they're going to realize that he's not just a fantasy, that he is real, that he, he means what he says and says what he means, and he pretty much will do every, everything that he has said in his book, and uh, and and all the tribes of the world are going to mourn 
because they're they realize they turned their ba backs on God and um, they tra they treated him as nothing and um, we're we're not to treat God like that. I mean, we're we're to treat God um, as being first and foremost uh, um, in everything, and He's the first, He's the last, and He's everything in between. And um, that's all I really have to say on this um, video. <laughs>